What up, Laker Nation? You know, I want to talk real quick about the Milwaukee Bucks and, and Miami Heat. You know, I'm going to make this real quick because the Lakers about to play in a minute. But I'll make this real quick, right? I don't want to hear the media say anything about Giannis. It's time for him to go or should he go. Because, see, that's, that's the problem I can't stand about the media. They always, someone things don't go the way they predict or they feel that Giannis the MVP and if he don't win, it's the, he need to move on. I hate that with the media do. They do a horrible job at that. If, if the Bucks could win 60 games, year in and year out, they won. They had like the top record in the last two to three years. There's, there's no excuse. They, I don't want to hear him have no help or anything like that. They have a high payroll. They, they management, I, I think this is with a lot of GMs. A lot of GMs around the league, I think, sucks. A lot of GMs. Because in Milwaukee, there's no way in the world he should have gave Eric Besso extension. He didn't. I never seen him do anything in the playoffs. Never. The Bucks been in the playoffs every year since he's been on that team. He hasn't done anything. And they gave him a big contract. They should have kept Malcolm Brogdon over him. Malcolm Brogdon played good in the play. That's why I said these GMs. Don't be smart. If anything, that's who, who should go. I don't want to hear the coach. Because the coach coaching his players it is not uh, the coach's fault. The, the players haven't stepped up. So you definitely that definitely goes on the players first. And then also management. Making bad decisions. I just think that Eric Blesso was, was an idiotic move to begin with. I, I've been saying that. If a player don't produce for you in the playoffs, okay, that's one year. But two years in a row, if they don't produce, and, and you saw him in previous stops, wasn't good, you don't pay a guy that. You don't pay the guy the money you get, gave uh, Eric Blesso. That's the mistake these these management makes time and time. You know, like, like Tobias Harris, for instance. He did nothing. Did absolutely nothing in the playoffs last year. And he get 180. So basically, you can... What you're showing people is you could. it doesn't matter how you play in the playoffs. As long as you have a decent amount of name and you made an average 20 points in the regular season, you could get a big contract. Or if you play well in the regular season, that warrants you a big contract. Like, I just think management and the whole NBA itself, it's not just Milwaukee, it's not just Philadelphia. I could name many teams keep giving these guys big contracts don't deserve it. I said even Gallinari. Gallinari, he he get twenty two million a year. He's soft. He has no heart. And I don't like and, and Steven Adams got twenty five million. These guys don't do anything. Like I don't see what these general managers see. There's no way in the world they age are gonna have any hostage and make me feel that I have to pay these guys for what? You're going to cave into the GM say, oh, his number's this. Oh, this player on this team, he got that that same amount of money. See, that's 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 the negotiation. That's how it works. If you guys don't know how it works, they always compare another contract to the player and they do the similarities. Like they say, for instance, like I'm going to say, let's say if Chris Middleton got the contract the year before Tobias Harris got. Right, or or he got it. Let's say he got it two weeks before or a week before Tobias Harris got. It. So, what Tobias Harris agent would do say, look, Chris Middleton and Tobias Harris numbers they compare their numbers and say Chris Middleton got five year one eighty. So I think Tobias Harris should get it. So they say, oh well, that's the market value for them. I just think that's that's stupid. It's like these guys in the NBA. You got these nerds who don't know nothing about basketball. All they do is numbers, 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 numbers. And that's just why these guys cannot build a team. And I, I be more hard on GMs more so than anyone because they the one who, and the owners who the one who give these people, some people their money. And that's why teams can't build the right way. You know, um, they deal with numbers. Oh, just the market value. So they look at a guy, oh, he averaged 20 points. He averaged anywhere from 18 to 20 points. He shot a forward. I'm going to say a, a wing player. He shot 48% from the field. He averaged five rebounds. 
three assists. So now any player that's close to that, having them in that swing between 18 to 20 points, 46 to 49 percent from the field, um, four to six rebounds, and let's say they not 36, 37. Let's say they 31, 32. They getting that that deal. They getting the same deal the other player got, and that, and that's how they 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 gauge it. And I just think that's the idiotic thing you can do because it's more to that. Gallinari shouldn't. Our Ben say should never got that that money. What did he ever do? He yeah, he played solid, but he saw he he should never got that money. Stephen Adams is a bomb. You know they gas him up. And what I don't like about the NBA, I want to um, I'm not I'm not going to make too long of my Lakers about to play. But what I can't stand with the NBA do. You didn't hear a peep. They say anything about Stephen Adams. Or Gardner, and these guys getting twenty two and twenty five million dollars a year. KCP didn't play well. KCP makes eight million dollars. He's he's not one of the top Laker players. Um, Danny Green, he makes fifteen, but they got killed in a loss against the uh, Blazers in the, the first game, game one. Them two guys got killed. You hear they had nothing. They ain't say nothing about Alex Caruso. They ain't mention him. KCP and Danny Green got killed. Danny KCP then received death threats for the regular season. Not even talk about postseason. Regular season. Teams, I mean, they they destroy KCP in the regular season. He struggled five, six, seven games. They they ready to kill him. These guys get big money. And don't come do nothing, and, and you don't hear nothing. You don't hear the media ain't even mention nothing about nothing. I don't like that. It's too much of a double standard going on in 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 the, in the league, even with the media. I don't like it. That this why sometimes it's good to have blogs. You know, people shed light to situations like that. These guys, I don't respect a lot of these guys' basketball mind. That's why, you know, I do this blog to, to show y'all the real light. Not saying I'm, I'm a know it all. But I, I give you pretty much facts. Time and time again, these guys get this money, and these guys don't be good at all. Like, for instance, they say they say superstar. Jimmy Butler proven he's a super superstar. He steps up every playoffs, every playoffs, even from the time of Chicago. He played good all the time. His regular season numbers don't be all that. He may average 20 points. You know, he just, like, you know, but in the playoffs, he's a different player. And that's when it counts. You pay these guys and you bring these guys in, what they can do to further your team. If your team never made the playoffs, you you pay these guys to get you in the playoffs. If you a guy, a team that's always played and, you know, always get to, like, the second round, you pay a guy to get you – to the to, to the conference finals or the NBA finals. That's what these guys get paid for. They don't get paid for nothing else but, but that. You know, pay these guys money. So, um, you know, I'm about to end this live right now. About to catch my Lakers and Rockets. Subscribe, hit that like button. Peace.